Okay, this is a modified manifold supplied from bullet cars. As you can see, the outlet comes out at about 90 degrees from the side, whereas the original outlet comes straight at the front, which causes a bit of issue with a supercharger. And as you can see, the belt gets very close. I've actually put in a piece of pipe in there to clear that, but um, this other modification will then take the belt right out the side, bring it across here and back into here. So I'm just going to do a video on uh, installing one of these. First thing I've done is taken the coil off. That's the coil off that side. Unplugged all the leads, which is one, two, three different switches, as well as coil leads. Poked them up out of the road. There's actually four bolts in there that holds that manifold in. But the next trick is to drop the water uh, out of the radiator, because I have to take this off as well, because that actually goes into the manifold into the, uh, the water manifold that I'm replacing which it's got two bolts there and an o-ring in the back so two bolts at the down the inside and the o-ring so I've got to drop the water take that off undo the four bolts the whole thing comes up new gas I've got new gaskets for it putting in the new gaskets and then just reassemble it back from there I'll do okay I pulled that front section up which wasn't too bad because I had it up before but that gasket is gone in there so I have to make up another gasket for that uh, this is also a bit wobbly so I'll have to glue that but an issue is on this other side here the two bolts are right down under this uh, plastic where the wires sheath went through there so it's got tape on either end which is a nuisance um, so you know I've got the top off I've got the wires out but I can't quite get this out, but I, I think I've got enough room there now to get in on those two bolts Which I'm going to just leave that bit jammed in there <laughs> Fairly tightly and undo the two bolts pull that out and hopefully then I can assemble it with that in there when I put it back together again But I think I should be able to get the two bolts. There's one there and one there which are in a very difficult spot so to Undo the tape undo the clips, get the wires out and then pull it out as far as you can and you should be able to get at those couple of little bolts in there and get it apart. I'll tell you in a minute if that works. Uh, I've got the bolts out, the manifold is loose so I'm going to give it a try now and see if I can get it out. Okay with the manifold loose I was able to, with a fair bit of wriggling and swearing and that, I was able to get the um, plastic uh, guide for the um, electrical wiring out and then the the manifold uh, or yeah whatever you like to call it radiated the joint between the two heads and that which I'm replacing came out quite easily um, I've got two new gaskets for that they say they might be okay but yeah I don't know if I if you're doing it I'd suggest you get two jack gaskets for there and a new gasket for the front manifold off just to swap all your old um, switches and uh, sensors across to the other system onto the other new one and make sure it's all nice and clean in here um, mine's a bit wobbly I'm just going to super glue that just to make sure that's firm but just swap those across to your new manifold put your new gaskets in then we'll go and reassemble it but I've got to get another gasket okay fitted all the sensors and mounted the manifold in the, the um, radiator um, hose outlet manifold onto the heads uh, and then put the plastic back in but I did have to grind it a bit grind it a bit on the front round that edge there and on the back to squeeze it back into there so I got that plastic uh, insert back in there and now I just got to run the wires and um, put that back on get a gasket and assemble okay we've got the um, wiring back up through that uh, plastic sheath um, and re-clipped re it up a couple of cable ties where they come out which they had a bit of tape on there before um, all those ties and that down the bottom to keep the wire away from there got to clean up that and I've just got to make a gasket and I'll um, reassemble the rest of it okay we've uh, cleaned I've cleaned up both these surfaces where that is going to go on that. It usually put something a little bit of lubricant or a bit of spit on the o-ring there when you put it in. Put that on, put a couple of um, 8mm bolts in there, torque that down and then we'll um, start setting up or we'll throw the belt and that on it and the hoses and that back on and then run the new hoses. What I... 
Okay. Fitted that um, thermostat housing set up down there, which also had some uh, sealant on that um, mating surface we showed you before. Uh, coil back on. Um, cam, uh, the cover, which covers the front of the um, pulley and also covers all the spark plug bits back on. Now all we have to do is work out the join and out of these two bits of pipe to make the join that goes in here. So it's a bit of pipe, join with aluminium, then back into the other one. I just Okay, run the hoses across here. Join one of the old hose, the supplied piece of hose comes down into there. It's pretty high. Now that's going to be the highest part of the motor probably now, so that's where you're going to have to bleed the radiator out there because there's going to be air wanting to sit in this high part here. So I've got to be able to bleed there, which is a bit of a nuisance. But uh, at least now, if I have to change a belt or adjust a belt or change a pulley and, and a belt, it don't have to pull or drop all the water and that sort of stuff to do that. I can just um, remove the belt without having to drop all the radiator. Coolant. Okay, that's about it. Just water in this now, uh, cool it in that now, and then try and bleed it down. Okay, it's um, all fitted and uh, assembled. A bit, bit of uh, drama's bleeding. That, that's, that's now the highest point. So I've actually welded a little lug on there with a um, 1 8 BSP thread in it. So when I um, can fill it from the uh, little overflow, it goes back. So if we block off the um, drain that goes back into the bottom of the header tank and um, fill it from the, on from the header tank to the radiator, and as soon as it runs out the top, block that off, and then that gives you a, a bled, bled, gets all the air out of the system. Uh, all seems to go together, nice and clean, nice clean away from the belts and that, as you can see now. You don't have to worry about them uh, getting in the road if you have to have a change of belt or anything like that. Some bullet cars, and um, talk to the boys there. Not a bad modification.